Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Unplugged TV Australia. So this is our last morning here at the holiday cabin and we are going to pack up now and going for a drive down to the coast for a coffee stopover and I need to fill up with gasoline. I know it sucks. A lot more sunshine this morning actually. It looks like we picked um, the three days where they had rain over here. What can you do? So in total over three nights we have charged 23.15 kilowatt hours and the last charge took six hours and 15 minutes. We charged from 27.1 percent of charge to 100 and only six hours only six hours and 15 minutes just uh, tells us again how far the battery is down it doesn't take much energy anymore oh, there's a gecko not sure if you can see him sitting on the tree there i've got a nice lake here on the property a little island, some horse paddocks over here, horses are over there. It's a fairly large property and that's where our cabin is. So wife is packing up, she wants to do this alone, you know how it is. So it's a quarter to ten, we have to be out here of the cabin at eleven and then we will go down to the coast um, direction Mululaba Sunshine Coast and have a look at the beach at the seaside and afterwards we are going down to Brisbane it's a pretty nice paddock here you can actually book some riding lessons here as well it's a huge property and they've got grass they've got actual grass which is the best part ever so yesterday's driving here in this area up and downhill brought me down to 24.1% state of charge at one stage but this is still far above turtle mode turtle mode is at 17-ish percent so even I, if I pushed it hard at 24% um, I couldn't get lower the engine obviously kicks in straight away and recharge the battery delivers energy to the to the motors and charge the battery at the same time. I can understand if you tow a trailer or so you probably um, get to the turtle mode stage but at this point of time I could not see anything and the car felt powerful enough for everything we did so there was no problem at all to get up and down these hills especially up of course. I didn't feel the car is underpowered. The only downside is the so the, the only downside is the serious mode, not, not serious, Ser serious, it's the same pronunciation isn't it? The serious mode is totally nuts, this is so nuts really, I don't like it at all, I try to avoid it and that's what I said yesterday, I always leave a couple of percentage in the battery so I can actually turn the engine off and on manually and I'm not reliant on this automatic engine kicking in situation then if you are in a in a in an um, urban area and you go up a steep hill and you're driving only 25 30 kilometers per hour and the engine is revving in the front four and a half five thousand rpms it's so embarrassing it's so embarrassing really and in this case i just turn off the engine and drive up on pure electric this is really the only downside in these driving modes yeah and apart from that the car as i said has done very well no problems at all charging was good here so all in all a nice holiday and the weather is clearing up now as well because we are leaving of course that sometimes just happens so we actually picked the three days of rain <laughs> to come over here for a holiday <laughs> and you know it's the sunshine coast there should be only thank you cabin three rivers here in image flat queensland for having us for the last three nights it was real
So, and start live data our way back home. Charge is complete. And we're starting with 98.6%. State of health is unchanged so far, but I'm expecting it to drop again at least tomorrow morning. So we are now at the beach, as you can tell. It was a 35 kilometer drive with a car and it has used four liters per 100 kilometers. I early engaged the safe mode and we still have 70% battery left. Yeah, and because we are doing some city driving later on here, I saved most of the battery for this purpose. And later on we're going down to Brisbane and we do some more driving through the city. So I have to recharge the battery on our way. I will use charge mode on the highway to um, level up the battery for our drive through Brisbane. And even in school holidays, that's how the beaches look like here at the Sunshine Coast. Not many people here. Apart from my wife. But um, I have lost 1.4 ampere hours again. Let's see. So guys, we are in Ipswich, my wife is just picking up some stuff here and we can have a quick look at the, at the trip card from today, in between the trip. So 177 kilometers so far, 69% electric driving, one full charge, 9.3 kilowatt hours and 5.2 liters. So this is with the initial fully charged in the morning and then we drove to Modulaba. I started the engine early because I wanted to keep the battery as high as possible. We drove then in Modulaba um, quite a while in the city and I used almost all the battery over there so I just made it to the uh, motorway and then I pressed the charge button in the car and recharged the battery to 70% while, we while we were driving until we reached Brisbane. Turned off the engine again, drove in pure electric through whole Brisbane from the north to the south west. Just made it to the highway again, started the engine again, recharged the battery to um, I think it was 45% only until Ipswich here and now driving in pure electric mode in Ipswich. So this is a different approach now what I'm doing with the car but it shows me 5.2 liters per 100 kilometers only. This is a fantastic figure for a trip of 177 kilometers. Yeah, so 53 kilometers average. 
we were standing in heavy heavy traffic on the motorway on the Bruce Highway when we entered uh, Brisbane the same on the Ipswich motorway again and also here in the city it was just insane so very very slow traffic we drove mostly highway but inside the cities it was just so it looks like this could be a new driving style which I'm which I would like to try for the next couple of trips I'm doing just to see if this makes actually a difference and if the consumption goes down very interesting December beginning of December we're doing a 650 kilometer trip to Agnes water up the coast and this will be my test so I will drive the battery down and then recharge it while we are driving to 70 percent basically recharge the battery while driving in between towns and only drive on electric in slower areas I know that's what you should do anyway but the recharging I usually press the save button and keep the level as it is but at one point the battery will be just empty and you, you can't you can't drive on on pure electric anymore it, it goes into hybrid mode then but with the charge in between it it raises the level of battery again we might have a different thing here I don't know yet we have to go to the organic supermarket first and buy some dinner because our son has eaten everything thanks Lucas now that's all right now he looked after the animals and everything and after the house and property so it's good all good thanks Lucas and I will show you the trip card of today today so the overall maximum comprehensive trip card of today later on I'm keen to see if we can keep the 5.2 liters per 100 kilometers that sounds very interesting So guys, we are back home after I don't know two, over 200 kilometers now. Over 200 kilometers. So consumption on the MMC MMS, MMSC MMCS is 5.5 liters. That is amazing. I'm I never had such a low figure. I don't know why. It it can only be using the charge mode instead of the safe mode. Yeah, the dog's going nuts now after four nights or three nights. 5.5 <laughs> trips. Just a very quick 224 kilometers. Sportive bullshit. 66% uh, electric driving. Yeah, the dog shower has 5.4 and the MMCS was 5.5. So, as I said, they are very close together. 8.6 kilowatt hours and 5.4 liters per 100 kilometers that is actually a very very good consumption for this size of car and this mostly highway then city driving with stop and go have a look at this here i just um the uh, trip summary from this week so this is our do we get a focus or not the trip summary glare everywhere there we go okay so in total 575 kilometers 2.8 of out of 5 <laughs> come on sportive driving style okay this this is definitely this definitely has something to do with the elevation we had over there these up and down hills use a lot of power both in and out of the battery and of course I'm getting a sportive driving characteristic. Um, the interesting stuff is 18.4% of the time I was regening. Again this is due to the elevation we had over there and I could only coast for 6% of the time. Yeah there's not much you can do. You, you either go uphill or you can go downhill and if you go downhill you have to regen you have to regen a lot so there's not much time to coast actually and here we go this is the consumption 9.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers 
and 5.5 liters. This is for the whole week. So this includes the the trip from home to the destination, driving around at the destination for two days and driving all the way back today, back home. 5.5 liters per 100 kilometers. That is an impressive figure. That is very impressive. And I only charged overnight over there, so once a day. I'll do the summary for you and let you know how much this actually cost. Well, there you go. That's not too bad, actually, isn't it? I was really impressed with these figures and um, numbers. So the car has done exceptionally well. I'm, I'm really impressed. I wasn't expecting such a good result in economy, efficiency. Very impressive, very impressive. So, as you have seen, the, the car suits me and, and my wife, of course, as well, um, perfectly. It has the right size, we can fit everything in the boot, it has the right power, I'm not a sportive driver anymore, even the dog shows I'm sportive, but... And considering the battery is down to 75% state of health, so I can utilize only uh, um, three quarter of the battery, we're still getting impressive efficiency numbers out of this whole statistic here. That is very impressive. Yeah, so still, at the moment, we are still waiting for Mitsubishi to get back to all of us with a solution for the battery degradation. And hopefully this will not take too much longer, I hope. I am in contact with them. We're emailing back and forward a couple of times a week. Something is happening. We have to, we have to wait for a solution. Okay, guys. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll keep you updated. Yeah, this was interesting four days with the PHEV um, back in the mountain area of the Sunshine Coast hinterland here in Queensland, Australia. I hope you enjoyed all these last four videos. I know they are a little bit different. When I go to uh, when I go for a holiday, it's always a little bit different. Then it's not all about the car. It's more about what we are doing in our holidays, where we go, what we see, what we experience over there. I try. I always try to put as much car information, car-specific information, into my vlogs here to make it a little bit more interesting for you guys. Because you want to know about the car. I know you don't give a shit if I go to the beach or if I go bushwalking in the rainforest i know i know also a lot of you guys want to see more how it looks like here in australia and um, i'm happy to share this as well so it's the best of both worlds hopefully for you thanks so much for coming with us again um, thanks for your support this is andy from unplugged tv australia signing off and we will see us in the next video you stay charged okay see you then bye bye